everyone, I'm Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars, and I am beyond excited and honored to be hosting this panel. Um, without further ado, let me get started. It is called The Jedi Mind, Lessons in Mindfulness from Star Wars. And I am joined by two of my very good friends. Uh, please uh, welcome author Amy Ratcliffe and Dr. Drea Letamendi, a uh, psychologist from UCLA. Um, Amy, Drea, I, I'm just so excited to be here with you for this panel. I'm so happy to see all of you. I think, you know, I felt nervous like coming up to this because it's a panel, but then I see your faces and I see friends and it's all great. <laughs> I'm so happy to join you. This is such um, perfect timing for talking about our mental wellness and for coming together in this way. So I just feel really grateful to be with the two of you right now. Yes, well, this is a subject that's clearly near and dear to all of our hearts and something we're very, very passionate about. And I have to say, hashtag proud friend, because we are here to celebrate uh, the release of Amy's new book. Can we bring up the title on the screen and show the world? Because uh, it is such an amazing book. Um, it is called uh, The Jedi Mind, Secrets from the Force for Balance and Peace. And uh, let's see, I think we're going to show the, the cover here. So yeah, this I is... see it up. Oh, it looks so pretty. <laughs> so this is Amy's new book, and it comes out November 10th. And Amy, I, I've seen a sneak peek. It's so inspiring, so inspirational. Tell us about your new book. Thank you. First of all, that was all very sweet. And I like that I'm biased. I'm like, it's so beautiful. Like, of course I think that, but it is objectively uh, beautiful. Christina beautiful. Chung, um, Christina Chung, who worked with me on Star Wars, Women of the Galaxy, did the cover and illustrations in the book. And my first recommendation is when you pick up Jedi Mind, skip through and look at all the art, enjoy it, and then <laughs> sit down and read it. So the book is all about connecting mindfulness and Star Wars. And though in the Star Wars universe, of course, mindfulness by that name is not a thing. The way the Jedi talk about the Force, the way people like Cheer Imwe or Leo Urso talk about the Force very much connects to mindfulness, which is about being in the moment, tuning in. And I loved digging through Star Wars to find quotes either about the Force or by Force users that I could tie into mindfulness specifically with a little practice, like a little exercise. So the book is really about kind of, it's kind of mindfulness, just like a, a step into that world because it's a big world to explore. But that's what I hope readers are like, oh, they learn about mindfulness through Star Wars. They learn that it's important to, because a lot of people think too, mindfulness is about, or like meditation, which is a part of mindfulness, is about zoning out. And it's the opposite of that. It's very much about being in the moment, whatever that moment is. And I was just thrilled to see how many aspects of Star Wars and the Force truly just naturally connect to mindfulness practices. And I hope that people find something that they can relate to. I hope they try out. Everything's meant to be very bite-sized in the book. So every page has just a little exercise so you can just dip in and see what you think. Uh, and I just could gush about it, but that's the, the general overview. Well, I have to tell you, I am actually very outspoken about this. I say, you know, that the mental aspect of being a Jedi is just as important as the physical aspect. And, you know, when we talk about Jedi training, I think oftentimes we talk about, you know, we or we think about lightsaber training, um, but we don't often talk enough about the mental training of being a Jedi. And I love that this book is chock full of so many exercises. Uh, now, uh, Drea, you know, being a psychologist at UCLA, um, you know, you talk about mindfulness a lot and, uh, you know, you share that mindfulness is very effective. So what can you tell us about mindfulness? I'm super excited that Star Wars is going to introduce people to mindfulness, which is well supported by psychologists for a number of reasons. As Amy mentioned, mindfulness is the intentional practice of tuning your attention inward and paying special attention to the self. This means all parts of the self, like how are we feeling? What are we feeling in our bodies? What are our emotions? 
um, what kinds of emotions are happening and can we attend to those experiences with a non-judgmental and um, very open uh, stance, very open approach. And this practice can be something that anyone can do. You don't have to be a Jedi master uh, to practice mindfulness, but the more that we practice mindfulness, the more we can benefit from these interventions. Um, there are a number of different benefits uh, to mindfulness that um, really relate to good psychological health. And this is so important right now, given the number of challenges a lot of us might be experiencing, whether it's more isolation, whether it's just feeling the strain of uncertainty and stress in the world. And mindfulness is associated with having some positive impacts on us when we practice it on a daily basis. That can include improving our sleep, that can improve reducing stress, it can, um, it can actually improve levels of depression and anxiety. And for some folks, uh, myself included, those of us with like constant worries or ruminations in our brain, <laughs> mindfulness is actually so helpful with calming the self and reducing those ruminations. So, you know, I just named a few benefits. There are, there are so many psychological, social, and personal benefits to mindfulness. So I'm just so truly happy that here we have um, just a way that Star Wars is able to kind of broaden that lens for people and introduce this practice to people who can really benefit from it. Well, let's talk about some examples. Uh, so Amy, obviously the book is chock full of exercises and examples of mindfulness in Star Wars. So I wanna know from each of you, what are your favorite examples of mindfulness in Star Wars? Yeah, I'm going to pull a cheat in a really interesting way, which is to say that we have an example uh, from the book about gratitude and, and how practicing gratitude can, you know, by making a gratitude journal, how you can, that's what you put your attention in and it very much reflects to a moment with Anakin and Ahsoka. But another moment, so I worked in two and one there, <laughs> is anytime I think about meditation, which in itself is a way you can, it's not all about mindfulness, but that is a way to practice mindfulness. Meditation can be other things too. I use it to practice mindfulness and I always think about Qui-Gon, right? When he's battling Darth Maul in the Phantom Menace, very intense moment. And as soon as he has a moment, like when the screen's up, he's safe, he drops down and meditates. He closes his eyes and pauses and gets in the moment. And when I first saw that, I'm like, dude, is, that, is this really the time you should be sitting down and taking a taking a five? I don't know. Um, but the more I see it and the more I saw it, I'm like, yes, he's just, he's pausing, he's collecting himself, he's reattuning to the present, which is very important in that situation. And so, I have to tell you, or I have to ask, um, I'm, I'm totally putting you on the spot right now, Amy, uh, <laughs> with this question, because I know we didn't discuss this ahead of time, but when you first shared with me about the book, you know, you, you talked about how this was really personal with you because you practiced mindfulness yourself um, and, and kind of, it, you know, you were learning mindfulness, I feel like at the same time you were even writing this book. So this, I feel like this is a very personal book for you. It is because, um, you know, I kind of say this in the intro, I am the three PO of Star Wars and that I am anxious. I panic at, about everything, but learning mindfulness, the biggest way it has helped me and thinking about it is it helps with those knee jerk reactions. It helps me stop and be aware. Like I can recognize like, oh, I feel, I feel whatever it is coming on, whether it's anger or ruminating and I can recognize and stop it. Love that. Sometimes. It's a constant <laughs> yeah. practice. It is a constant practice. Uh, now, Drea, what's your favorite example in Star Wars? I have to say that Ray gives us a couple of examples based on the way that she um, just kind of tunes into the self. And so we, we're kind of introduced to this when Ray is on uh, Jakku, and this is our first real introduction to this character. And we're kind of seeing all her busyness, like we're seeing how she's kind of scavenging and collecting, we're seeing how she's essentially like surviving, which is a really important part of, of this um, characterization. And then we see a moment where 
she's um, she's sort of experiencing the self. And it's such a wonderful scene where um, she's kind of enjoying her rations and she's she's got, you know, the the helmet on. And my impression of that was like, what what an amazing example of like she's not yet a Jedi master, but she is finding a way to contemplate on her um, her own self, the awareness of the self, the awareness of how she's feeling. It, it wasn't um, it wasn't a judgmental. Why am I in this? Um, why am I so helpless? It was it was more so just kind of a, an appreciation and a curiosity of of the self. And I thought that was a really wonderful example. Later, as she's learning more skills, her mindfulness really kind of like um, changes in a way. So she's finding a lot of power within the self, and her mindfulness is more intentional. So she's she's taking time to turn inward, to pay attention with, of course, Luke's, um, Luke's advising. She takes a, a lot of an intentionality around self-awareness and growing attuned to the force. And this, this practice then becomes um, longer in terms of like how, how the minutes that she's in this experience, but also becomes more challenging for her because she is wrestling with a lot of different, um, maybe more, um, maybe more, negative emotions in the self. And she's wrestling with how to accept those negative emotions and also how to integrate everything with the self. So I just really appreciate how she um, she sort of develops with uh, this mindfulness framework and shows us how this can look a few different ways. Just another amazing example of, of mindfulness in Star Wars. And it's almost like we, you have to rewatch all of the films from that perspective, there's so many lessons for us to learn. Now, of course, we have another sneak peek and I'm excited to share this page. Can we bring up this exercise featuring a character that's near and dear to my heart, Ahsoka Tano? Um, so Amy, I was excited to be able to share this page here at the panel because it features one of my favorite quotes. Um, it's a new day a new beginning. So Ahsoka, uh, you know, this is, this is one of her, you know, better known quotes. And it's one that's really personal. Um, Cause I, I oftentimes, I, I actually, um, I, I oftentimes write it down, whether it's in notebooks or, you know, I have it on a piece of jewelry, but um, I'm going to be redecorating my room and I'm going to put it on the wall in my room. And Aww. as a reminder, every single day when I wake up, it's a new day, a new beginning. Um, but breathing is ob obviously very important with mindfulness. And I believe this is a breathing exercise. Is that correct? Yeah, it's correct. It's for energizing breathing. So anytime you can stop and focus on your breath, that's going to make you aware of something in your body. And it's good to do at any point, but whether you're trying to work yourself up when you're nervous or a panel, when you recognize that you have mo a moment of stress coming on perhaps. So, and I love Ahsoka. So of course I went through and, and found as many Ahsoka quotes as I could to <laughs> put in the book. Let's be honest. Well, I, I know I'm biased, but I especially love all of the Ahsoka in the book. And again, a shout out to Christina Chung because her illustrations are just fantastic. Um, but sadly, we are almost out of time and we could go on and on and on about this. Um, but fans can finally get their hands on this book very, very soon. So tell us a bit more about where everyone can get this book. Oh, of course. And first of all, thank you both so much for joining and talking about this. It's an important topic. Andrea helped me so much when I was working on this book. So I'm very honored that you could be here. And I, you know, the book will be available. We have some information, I think, with the, with the on sale date. So you can take a screenshot and save it, but it'll be available November 10th, wherever you buy books. And if you visit me on Twitter at Amy underscore geek at some point after this panel or right after this panel, Airs, I will have a handout uh, in front of the book. So you have a, a mindfulness exercise that you can take with you um, and get a sneak peek of before the book comes out on November 10th. And if you pull up that slide, I think we yeah, also have- Yeah, let's bring a, it up. There we go. Up. There's also there a go. discount code. So take advantage of that. Um, and yeah, I hope you all, I hope people love the book and I hope like Dre said, it just introduces them to the, the big, wonderful world of mindfulness. Awesome. Well, Amy, congratulations. I am, again, such a proud friend. And um, 
everyone go check out uh, The Jedi Mind and get it on November 10th. And Drea, thank you so much for joining us as well. And um, thank all of you for uh, watching our panel. And I guess we have to end any Star Wars panel with uh, the only words appropriate, which is, may the Force be with you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.